Okay, let's have a look here. Is the linear approximation for any gen generic linear function? Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's asking, but the formula for a linear approximation function, let's just call it LX, uh, is equal to um, Oh, I think I see what they're doing. Yeah, um, it's um, f of a plus f dash a x minus a. So if you were to expand that, that would be f dash a times x minus a f dash a plus f of a. So this here. That would be the M, and then this here, that would be the B. 47, determine the necessary conditions such that the linear approximation function is constant. Um, that would be when F dash A equals zero. 48, explain why the linear approximation function becomes less accurate as you increase the distance between X and A. Um, use a graph to prove your argument. Well, LX is linear, um, and we'll assume FX is not, but LA equals FA, and one can see it diverge beyond a so like if this is at a and, and and this is our um that's that's um fx and then that would be fa so you can see it diverges as you move away. Um, when is the linear approximation exact? When F is linear. 50. So we'll calculate F of X equals 1 plus or x cube so f dash uh, zero equals one so we'll have the function uh, equals f of a f of uh, zero which is zero times one times x minus zero oh so just x then okay 51 of two is a half and f dash of x is minus one over x squared which should be two squared here so that's minus a quarter so the linear approximation is a, a half minus a quarter x minus two so that'd be minus a quarter x um, minus a quarter times minus two, that's plus a half, plus a half, plus one. Uh, 52. Um, F of pi over four is one. Then F derivative of X is uh, one over cos squared. So that's one over cos squared pi over four. Um, and cos squared is 1 over root, so that's 2 then. So the linear approximation would be 1 plus 2 times x minus pi over 4. So that would be 2x minus pi over 4, uh, minus pi over 2 plus 1. Uh, 53. I think this will be 1 because f of pi over 2 um, is sine pi over 2 
which is 0. And f derivative of x is cos x, so that's cos pi over 2. Um, cos pi over 2 is 0. Cos of, yeah. Oh, sorry, sine, that's a 1. Yeah, I meant to say the sine pi over 2 is, is 1. Uh, so the linear approximation will be 1, 54, um, f of 2 pi equals 0, and then f derivative of x will be 1 times sine x plus x times cos x, x times cos x, sine 2 pi, so it's just going to be 2 pi, uh, so lx would be 0, and then 2 pi times x minus 2 pi, It's 2 pi x minus 4 pi squared, 55. F of 0 is 0. F derivative of 0 will be 2 sine 0 cos 0 which is 0. So the linear approximation would be 0. Interesting. So that's that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. OK, let's check the answers now. Six. Well, it's going to start with forty seven. It's fine. Then forty nine. Yeah, that, that's right as well. Then fifty one. Oh, they don't simplify it. So I went through more work. Ah, minus. Yeah. Okay, 53, yeah, 55, yeah. Um, so, probably means the other ones are right since I've got the odd ones right. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and now uh, tech questions. And I think I'll do all of those next time then to make it a separate video, 56 to 67. Yeah, check your answer using the calculator. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, can I actually check 52? I think I could, because if I take out my calculator, where is it? Oh, my calculator. Let's see, 52, um, tan pi over 4 is 1, so in 52, 2 times pi over 4 minus pi over 2 plus 1, that's also 1, so that matches up as it should. And then 54, at 2 pi, we get 0. Yeah, I can see that matches up as well. I don't even need to check it. Yeah, okay, so I'm happy with that. 46 to 55 is complete.